In this video, we're talking about two-step equations or two-step problems, and these are really the most basic kinds of a system of linear equations. And in these problems, we're told if this equation is true, then what is the value of this second equation? So really, we have a system of linear equations, two equations that we're given, and we're told that we have this condition here, if x plus 3 equals 7, then find this value. So we always have to start with this first equation or this first step, and we want to solve it for x. And really, this is going to turn into a substitution problem. So we're going to solve this equation for x. We have x plus 3 equals 7. What we need to do is subtract 3 from both sides, so subtract 3 from both sides. When we do that, on the left-hand side, we're going to get positive 3 and negative 3 to cancel, leaving us with just x plus 0. 0 is the identity number for addition or subtraction, so we just have x. So we get x is equal to 7 minus 3, which is 4. Now you can see that we've solved for x. We have a specific value for x, and we can take this value of x and plug it into the second equation for x here. So since we know that x equals 4, when we say what is x minus 6, we can say, well, it's whatever we get when we plug in 4. 4 minus 6. 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So we can say that the value we're looking for is negative 2. Let's try one that's a little more complicated. We're asked to find the value of 10x minus 3 if 5x minus 2 equals 5. So we need to solve this first equation for x. We'll add 2 to both sides, and when we do that, we'll get 5x is equal to 7, because the negative 2 and the positive 2 will cancel here on the left, and 5 plus 2 is 7. Now we divide both sides by 5. We'll get the 5s to cancel on the left, leaving us with just x. And on the right-hand side, we'll get 7 over 5. Now we've solved for x. We have this value of x and we should be able to plug it into the second equation for x here. So we know x is 7 fifths, so we get 10 times 7 over 5 minus 3. We're looking to find this value. So 10 times 7 is 70, so we get 70 over 5 minus 3. 70 divided by 5 is 14, so we get 14 minus 3. 14 minus 3 is 11, so the value we were looking for was 11. But you see how we had to solve the first equation to find a value for x, and then substitute that value for x into the second equation to find the final value.